Hello friends and welcome to Switzerland. I am in the Swiss Alps, I'm in Muren. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but um, Muren, this beautiful town on, this, on the top of a cliff, like it was incredible coming up here on the gondola and even more incredible up here now looking down, but it's winning me over. <laughs> I'm kind of in love. Um, well, for obvious reasons. But today, let's do a mountain flow. So we'll spend a little extra time in Tadasana, in mountain pose, and we'll just move the body. We've been doing some biking and hiking, and I haven't done yoga in a little bit, so I'm just gonna see what feels good in, in my body and take you along with me, so. If you are interested in learning more about what I have on offer, then head to my website, colechanceyoga.com. I do addiction recovery explorations, yoga teacher trainings, and retreats all over the world. So would love to connect with you on a deeper level. Please do reach out. And at the top of the mat. And move front to back on your feet, and then side to side as well. So finding a um, solid base, a little bit of softness in the knees. And then when you can feel all four corners, kind of find that center sweet spot and then stay. Closing the eyes down, pressing down through the feet, really rooting as if you could grow roots out of your feet. And on your inhale, lift the kneecaps up. On your exhale, press down through the feet again. On an inhale, lift the kneecaps up and let that extend up the inner thigh as if you could lift, lift, lift. And exhale down through the feet. Inhale, lift to the inner arches, the kneecaps up through the inner thighs. Lift the ribs slightly out of the hips. And then exhale, imagine that energy going right back down through the feet. Palms are slightly forward. Again, inhale, lift through the inner arches, the knees, the ribs, the crown of the head. And then exhale, release the shoulders, the shoulder blades, let the tailbone be heavy and the feet root down through the earth. Again, inhale, lifting energy. Open the heart just slightly and then exhale, downward energy, exhale, shoulder blades drop tailbone heavy, feet rooted. A couple more times like this with your breath. Inhale. And out breath. Next inhale, lift the arms up really wide, gaze is up, hands can touch. And then exhale, hands through heart center. Again like this. Inhale, lift the arms up, press up through resistance. Exhale, hand presses into hand, draw down. Once more, inhale, lift the arms up. This time soft, bend in the knees, send the hips back as the heart moves forward, arms wide, forward fold. Soft bend in the knees or deep bend in the knees, whichever. And sway side to side. And then a couple waves of the spine about three times. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can come to the shins or to the earth. Bend in the knees. Exhale, pour out. Again, inhale, reach the heart forward. And exhale, pour. Once more. Inhale, reach, lift. And exhale, let's step back with the left foot. All the way to the back of the mat. Back knee comes down. Scissor the thighs just slightly. And then inhale, lift the arms up, cactus the arms, reach out through the sides of the fingers, pull the heart forward. And then exhale, the hands glide back as the front leg lengthens. Doesn't have to go straight, just lengthening. Twice like this, move with breath. Inhale, lift. Arms can go up or cactus. And exhale, shift them back. Again, inhale, lift and open 
and then exhale, shift them back. This time, bring the hands to the ground. Reach the heart towards the toes, and you can pour forward or you can stay quite lifted, sending the booty back. See what it feels like to turn the toes out towards the right and then pull the right hip crease in. This really makes it more alive for me, but see what feels good in your body. And then plant the left hand down. The right arm's gonna come back, so we're gonna take a little twist here. Gazing back towards the right hand. And then the right arm comes up and over, both hands to the left corner of the mat. The left foot comes back, reaching the arms forward. So we're kind of in downward dog in the front body. And then pull back on the right hip crease with the right leg. And then here we sway the spine. Inhale, lift, draw the heart forward and exhale, fold. Again, in and out. Keep pulling back on the right hip crease, pushing the right knee towards the right. Inhale. Exhale, walk the hands towards the back of the mat. The left hand plants, right arm comes up and over, reach, reach, reach. And then maybe draw the right leg up. And you can stay right here or bend the leg, grab for the foot. You can take a quad stretch or kick into the hand. Wherever you are, spiral the heart up just slightly. And then slowly release. We're going to take a downward dog towards the back of the mat. So just come back, downward facing dog, first one. Pedal it out. Knees come down, a few cat cows here. Soft bend in the elbows with your own breath. And downward facing dog. Slowly walk the feet towards the hands. And then halfway lift three times with breath. Inhale, hands can go to shins or to the floor. Exhale, wave down. Twice more. Inflate on an inhale and pour out. Again. And exhale, plant the hands. This time step back with the right foot. The right knee comes down. Scissor the thigh, so pull back on the left hip crease. Press down through the left foot, rise up, cactus arms. Reach out towards sides of the fingers, and then exhale, lengthen the front leg. Heart goes forward, hips go back. Twice more like this, with your breath. Again. Staying right here, bringing the hands down, Ooh, wiggling the hips, turning the toes out towards the left just slightly to get a little extra oomph. And then the right hand plants, the left arm reaches back, twists back, gaze towards the thumb. One more inhale. And lift the left arm up, both hands towards the right corner of the mat, bend the front leg. So we're getting into this kind of weird, feel good, good hurt pose. Pull back on the left hip crease, downward dog in the arms, wave the spine, three goes. Really let yourself puff up, inflate on an inhale, and pour out. Again, in. This time we'll walk towards the top of the mat. Right hand plants, left arm up and over. Again, your choice, lifting the left leg, maybe grabbing for the foot. Wherever you are, one more inhale. And exhale, release, downward facing dog. This time, let's walk towards the top of the mat. Ragdoll, soft knees. We'll slowly roll up to stand, pressing down through the feet, letting the torso be heavy, maybe a little bit of a shake. Lifting the arms up, 
and exhale hands come through heart center and all the way back down into mountain pose tadasana coming back to where we were in the beginning big breath roll the shoulders back heart center is broad open lift the kneecaps lift through the inner thighs lift the crown of the head at the same time as we're finding solid rooted foundation. So we're expanding and grounding at the same time. Beautiful, powerful pose. Inhale, lift the arms up. Grab the left wrist and we'll step off the right side of the mat. Watch the cliff edge. <laughs> side body stretch here. Find some movement in the body. And then exhale, curtsy pose. Wave the arms back, heart center forward. Pull back on the right hip crease here. And then plant the hands down, big step back with the left foot. Inhale, right arm comes up. Cactus the top arm, open the heart. And then we're gonna reach the right hand up. Keep reaching up, 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 up. Press down through the feet. And we're gonna lift the torso all the way up and back, exalted warrior. This time, slight cactus of the arm with the left arm, heart is open. And then taking a twist, the left elbow will come outside of the right knee. Hands come together, shoulders roll back, heart center moves towards the thumb. Gaze is up. Gaze can also be down, so you're, or out, wow. Open up the arms. One more time, exalted warrior. Come all the way up and back. Warrior two, the back heel plant, spiral around. Make any maneuvers that you need to make with the feet. And then reaching the arms out. Pressing evenly through both feet. Especially bring some attention to the pinky edge side of the front foot. Press down a little extra there and a little extra on the pinky toe edge side of the back foot too. See if that changes anything. Flip the front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, hands come all the way down. Step back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, wave forward plank pose. And exhale, both heels over towards the right, Vashistasana. Option, the right knee can come down. Well, both heels over towards the right, left arm comes up. Arm can also go towards the top of the mat. You can take tree pose as well. Option. Downward facing dog, wherever you came from. Heading back to downward dog. Slow walk up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold down. Once more. Inhale, halfway lift. And this time, step back with the right foot. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Right hand plants. Inhale, left arm reaches up. And then bend the top arm, open the heart. And then reach the top arm up again, this time pressing down through both feet, squaring the hips. And as if you're being lifted up by the fingers, come all the way up and back, exalted warrior. Steady breath here. Maybe cactus the top arm, open, pull heart, broad. And exhale, we'll take the twist. Elbow on the outside of the knee. Press firmly in the hands. Maybe gaze is up or down. Hands are moving towards heart center. Outer left leg is pressing into the elbow. 
And then inhale, arms open up again. Exalted warrior, come up and back. Warrior two, back heel plants. And we'll take a few rounds of breath here. So find your pose, find where you'd like to be in this. Extra attention to the outside pinky toe edge of both feet. Pull back on the left outer hip crease. Front palm flips, reverse warrior. And exhale, coming all the way down. Downward facing dog. Coming to the knees. A couple more rounds, cat cow. Your own breath or sway. And we'll cross the ankles, send the hips back, or however you'd like to get into a seated position. Take the hands to the knees and we'll just spiral the spine, so maneuver. Find a few nooks and crannies and move with breath here, big breath. And coming to stillness. Palms can be up. This gesture of receiving, surrender. They can also be down. So maybe try both real quick to see which one feels alive right now. Down for grounding or centering. Often one will feel more applicable. Just let the breath move through the body. Wherever you are, noticing the temperature and the sounds around you. Sensations in the body. Just a moment of stillness. medicinal moment of stillness in a very busy world. And bring your hands together. Thumbs to the third eye. And let's bow forward to seal our practice today. Some beautiful moving and breathing. Thank you for letting me guide you and we'll bow forward and say namaste. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm actively looking about where I can come back, when and how for a Swiss mountain retreat. So keep your ears peeled on that and I will see you next time. Thanks for joining me.